If you are struggling to make a sense of queuing up upgrade cards, watch this video. So I have a question from Charles and he's saying that he has TS251D uh, and uh, he wants to upgrade it with SSD cache, uh, preferably two slot cache, but he's um, he's finding this uh, QM2244 A card and um, 344 card and he's thinking which what's the difference because they look really similar but you need to really decode the model number to understand what is going on what's the difference between these cards so <clears throat> let's start with um, um, specs before you even think about upgrading your NAS first you need to figure out what sort of upgrade slot you got on your NAS what is the speed and what is going to be the best card really for your NAS so you wouldn't end up with a card which is too slow or a card which is um, really fast but your NAS could never take advantage of that speed. <clears throat> so if you go to um, 251D or any NAS model uh, product page and go for hardware specs, uh, go down to PCI RE, uh, so some area where it's explaining what exactly, um, uh, P what sort of PCI slot it is. And in this case, 251D has um, Gen 2, so generation 2, X4 slot, and um, probably this still doesn't make sense, <laughs> but um, you, can, you can understand this more um, if you look at the table of the speeds. X1, X2, 4, so this, this is the number of the lanes which have access to the CPU, so the processing unit, so more lanes usually going to be, uh, mean more speed. And there is also generations of each uh, um, this uh, lane sort of a uh, standard. So you got uh, Gen 1, Gen 2 and Gen 3. Most often, uh, 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 like frequently found uh, generation is Generation 2. Now, QNAP is also switching to gen uh, Generation 3, which is faster. So in our case, we got uh, Generation 2, X4. So four, slot, uh, four lanes and Generation 2. So that's, you are looking at uh, max performance, theoretical performance, um, about two gigabytes a second. So from this point, we can already uh, start deciding what sort of card we need. As you know, um, NV there are NVMe based cards and there are SATA SSD based cards. SATA speeds are around 500 megabytes a second. NVMe is around 2000 depends on, on it, two, three thousand, one thousand, depends what sort of um, uh, model and, and brand SSD ch you choose. So, but in average, you would expect somewhere around 2000 gigabytes a second uh, on the like consumer popular uh, NVMe drive. So we got two gigabytes to play with. Let's go to the compatibility list <clears throat> where we can find which cards are compatible with this NAS. So if you if you go to compatibility page, 251T, 2Bay, expansion card, and then you go down and you can find that there are expansion cards available with um, Gen 2, X4, this is um, uh, SATA, NVMe, um, uh, uh, NVMe, NVMe, uh, SATA. Uh, I'll, piece, I'll explain you actually what these um, um, code names actually mean. So let's go to the cards. Uh, optional, I'll show you. So these are M, uh, M2 upgrade cards for cache or storage, uh, how you choose to ha have it. So let's read this through and understand. So before they um, released new cards with more details in the model number, uh, they used to have this very short QM22S, which meant a QNAP M.2 upgrade card with uh, two SATA uh, M2s in, in there. So they, they have um, uh, ended the line of, of these um, these models and now they, they are having more specific sort of model numbers coming out. So let's let's break it down. So QM2, for example, this card is um, QNAP M.2 upgrade card, two SAT slots. Uh, then we are going for uh, the lanes and the generations. So it's, that's gonna be um, generation two. So gen two, two lanes, and uh, zero in this case will mean that um, it has direct access, there's no like a controller uh, in the middle. So it's like, it's, it's, there's no, because sometimes you will see that in, internal um, lanes are combined using this uh, switch, PCI switch, and then it comes out 
uh, to a lane. So, uh, for example, again, we can break down this card down. This is like a Q November 2 card, two NVMe slots, um, uh, uh, Gen 2, X4, and uh, four, um, X4 internal, uh, as you can see here, uh, into the two X4s um, sort of connection to the main card. So each M.2 NVMe has X4 speed and it comes out through the switch uh, with this connector at the bottom uh, as X4 connection. So if that makes sense. So let's go for something like um, X8, for example, here. So we got QM2 card, two NVMe's, P stands for NVMe, uh, generation 3, X8, that means um, it connects to your NAS via uh, XA slot, and uh, internal NVMEs um, connect, uh, on, on the card itself connect as um, X4. So uh, this is what it actually means. <laughs> All this. Let's go through it again quickly. So QM22P384 would mean that's a QNAP card with M.2s. Um, uh, uh, the next number will be two, that's how many M.2 slots you're gonna have inside. And then P, 2P or 2S, P will stand for NVMe, which is faster one. 2S would mean for SATA. Uh, then next would be generation uh, of the um, um, standard PCIe. And then how many lanes are coming out of the card, how you connect it to a NAS, so X8. and uh, uh, um, internal uh, so NVMe sort of our SATA connection lanes again. How through how many lanes it connects to a card, where card connects to a NAS, <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's go now to, uh, to the specs again. So that was uh, Gen 2 X4 card, so it was around 2000 uh, gigs a second. So we could look at some card which has uh, four. SATA SSDs that will give you speed around um, uh, this two gigabyte a second theoretical, or you could have um, uh, uh, two NVMe uh, M2 based um, uh, uh, card, which would give you more than actually this NAS could handle. So, like dual 2000 megabytes a second uh, M.2s will give you 4000 megs a second potential uh, theoretical speed, but then the output of Gen 2 X4 card would uh, only limit you to two gigabytes. So in this case, if you go for NVMe's uh, and um, if you need to decide which card to go for SATA or um, or NVMe, you might uh, look back at this uh, limited um, number, which is 2000 megabytes a second. So sometimes it might be cheaper actually to go for a SATA option than NVMe. So um, let's have a look at the cards we can actually put in there. So QM2, this is our 10, 10 gigabit card. You say you don't want 10 gigabit, so let's focus on um, um, on uh, M.2 only cards. So the question originally was, what's the difference between 244A and 3444? So, 344. so now we can say that 2P, both of these are NVMe based cards, uh, but, uh, but the difference is that the generation so second generation versus third generation the lanes are the same it's four um uh, four lanes on the card itself and four uh, four lanes on the internal nvme connection on the card so faster option would be gen 3 but again if you go for gen 3 x4 uh let's have a look gen 3 x4 is four gigabytes a second um your nas is limited to Two gigabytes a second, so this would be, in this case, would be really an overkill if you would go for NVMe card generation three. So if generation two is cheaper, go for generation two because that's gonna be more closer to the limiting factor anyway. Um, so this is how you tell uh, the difference. QUNAP is offering these M.2 cards and also they are having a few models which are um, M.2 and 10 gigabit. So then there is, um, again, some more uh, homework to do at home. So you need to count already gigabit speeds, which is 10 gigabits. So that's already around um, 1000 megabytes a second are already taken away. 
and then you're left with uh, SATA or NVMe speeds to play with. So you need to do this math on the paper and uh, and compare this card potential speed with a NAS PCI slot speed. So you end up having with a card which is really close to the speeds of the NAS PCI lane rather than um, uh, overkill when you buy a card which is so uh, so fast but uh, NAS cannot handle uh, full performance of this card. So this is how it is. So basically, this I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you go to Ask Nas Compares, you can put your question in there, uh, like just I did, submit it, or go to uh, Info Nas Compares and send the email directly, or go to Nas Compares on the right hand side. There is a form to fill. Put the question in there and send it over. If the question will be interesting, we can shoot a video, so uh, we can help others as well. So you help us to help others. <laughs> What a wonderful symbiotic relationship we've got. I have a lovely day. I hope it was helpful.